Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Marvel Monday. Today I will be presenting you with the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Wong, from the Marvel Legends series. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out further. Either or both. Awesome. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. As is our norm here on Digital Caveman Presents, we will start with a look at the packaging. Build a figure Rintra. Assortment number, four and up. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole. The window from the Sanctum Sanctorum Legend Series. Nice window showcasing Wong. Played by Benedict Wong, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, he's nice bright colors. We'll cover that later, though. Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Marvel's Wong. Hasbro print. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print. Made in China. Print symbols I'm not going to learn. And a barcode. Artwork of Wong on this side. And artwork of Wong on this side. And artwork of Wong on this side. It's a trifecta. Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Wong. Wong takes over for the Ancient One as Sorcerer Supreme and leader of Kamartage, teaching a new era of sorcerers to protect our reality from mystical threats. Build-A-Figure Rintra. There's the completed Build-A-Figure. Here's the cross sale of the rest of the wave. Doctor Strange, Wong, America Chavez, Master Mordo, Astral Strange, and the two comic characters, Despair and Sleepwalker. And each one has a number which corresponds to a part that they come with of Rintra. Each sold separately, subject to availability. Attention! Don't stick things in your French pie hole. Warning! Achtung! Don't stick things in your other languages pie hole. Marvel print, Hasbro print, some more small print, some more Made in China print, and my friends, that completes a look at the packaging. Now let's take a look at the figure and his accessories, and we'll start off with the accessories. And first of all, we have Rintra's arm and an extra fist hand for Rintra. Next up we have this great looking sword. A white pommel. And the gold handguard. And the silver blade. So it does have nice molded details in there. Great looking sword. And he does have three hands to swap out with. There's a grip hand on an in and out hinge. And there's a smaller magic effect hand, which this I think is the same. Uh, these magic effects are the same ones that come with the Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange. nice molded detail in there and the, those are both on up and down hinges now let's take a look at the figure I think that's a very good likeness of the actor if I'm not mistaken Benedict Wong plays Wong but I could be wrong Nice 
paint apps around the collar and going down this way. Nice molded details in there. And again, some paint apps all throughout there. I mean, this is just... This figure looks fantastic. Look at these. Paint apps in here. And then like some samurai armor looking stuff right here. Maybe this is some type of chain mail. Or not. And even some white paint down here around the collar. Paint here. Wow, this is a lot of detail on this guy. Let's look at his articulation. He can look up that high. He can look down that far. And his head seems to be like the dumbbell up here and then the ball at the bottom of the neck, the neck separate from the torso. So that's good. You get a little chicken necking going in there. Waggle, waggle, waggle for days. What you talk about, Strange? He can do the full exorcist. Uh, approximately 90 degrees at the shoulder. 360 degree rotation at the shoulder. Cut at the upper bicep for another 360 degrees of rotation. A double hinged pinless elbow. Mmm, things that make you go. Mmm. So anyway, he gets that much range of motion there. Uh, 360 degrees of rotation at the wrist on an in and out hinge. Or if you turn it that way, it's an up and down. So, you know, either way. And in and out hinge or up and down, whichever, you know. And that's on his make a portal hand. Uh, appears to have the ball joint here at the waist. He can crunch back that far, forward that far, and he has 360 degrees of rotation for the waist. He can kick forward that far because this gets in the way. I'm sure on the other side it gets in the way more. He can kick back that far for the same reason. Maybe not even that far, because he tried to come apart there. He does have a cut here at the upper thigh. That, if I can get my fingers in there, I'll show you. Has a 360 degree rotation. Uh, has a single jointed hinge and swivel at the knee. It will swivel 360 degrees. And it's really tight, so it gives you that much range of motion at the knee. At the ankle, doesn't really go down. Doesn't, well, there's up. That's how much up he gets. And forward facing pin. A rocker. And that, my friends, is a look at the figure and his accessories. It's time for my favorite part of the review the comparisons. And let's start things off with. The Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange. And Astral Projection, Doctor Strange, or Astral Strange, or Astral Projection Strange, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 
Next up we have Master Mordo. From the Multiverse of Madness. And here we have America Chavez. From the Multiverse of Madness. And because she's going to be in the Multiverse of Madness, here we have Scarlet Witch from the Disney Plus Wave. And to round out the wave, here we have Despair. and uh, Sleepwalker. And just because I like to throw a villain in there, a big time villain, here we have the classic Dormammu from the Zenmu Build-A-Figure Wave. And here we have the Dormammu Build-A-Figure from the Dormammu Build-A-Figure Wave. I'm having to hold him. He does not like to stand up. And making his cameo appearance, we have Stan the Man Lee. And how does he compare up to a few other lines? Let's take a look. Here's the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander from the G.I. Joe Classified series. From Star Wars The Black Series, Archive Wave, 501st Clone Trooper. And for some 7-inch goodness, we have the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Beyond. And that, my friends, completes the comparisons. For final thoughts on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, or in the Multiverse of Madness, Wong, I would like to say uh, the likeness on this figure is very great. Uh, I think they nailed it. Uh, the likeness to the actor, that is. Um, now, as far as the, the colors and the robe and all that stuff goes, I don't know how close that's going to be to the movie, but whether it's close to it or not, I like it. And this is a very good version of Wong. If you're a fan of MCU figures, you definitely want to pick this one up. I mean, the articulation, you know, it's hindered a lot by his robes, but, you know, that's what figure with non soft goods robes doesn't have articulation issues. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out further, or both. That's super cool. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.